I am very excited because I asked for help. My pal Karen, you would have seen her on my channel before, we're actually going to film a seed chat video for her channel and she's going to help me organise my greenhouse. I'm really overwhelmed with it but I'm excited because this is my Christmas present. <laughs> still in the box. It's an art easel. My niece and nephew got me an art easel for Christmas and I want to make, so first of all I need to reorganise the greenhouse because the structure that I have in it, I feel it no longer works for me because I need to make a nice bigger desk because I've spent all my money on seeds <laughs> so I plan on doing a lot more seed sowing cuttings and how it is at the moment I realise that I don't have much of a work space. So we're gonna re I'm gonna keep some of the structure and cut the old shelves thinner and stick them to the back. You'll see what I'm hopefully gonna do. And then what I would love to do, it's too cold to kind of paint outside in the greenhouse at the moment, but I would love to have a little corner where I can set up my easel. So if I can have a small art corner, your girl is still not great at art. I show up to classes, I put my brush on the canvas, but that's about it. <laughs> it's fun though. So look, I would like to make a little art corner and a good seed sewing work station. That's the plan. I'm just waiting on Karen to come. She's getting the coffees. We need to be caffeinated. It's actually a nice day today. When I say it's a nice day, it is cold but not too cold and no wind so I'm gonna have to take everything out of the greenhouse to organize it and stick it back in. So in the greenhouse one of my pain points for me is not having a proper workbench inside. So I'm going to dismantle the old unit that's at the back but I'm going to be keeping the two bottom bases which they are Ikea, are they Ivar? I think they're Ivar's comment in the comment section if they're Ivar's I'll double check. I'm going to be reusing the wooden shelves but I'm just going to be cutting them so that they're thinner and they'll be going on the back wall. I'm still going to have shelves and a shelf display but the goal is to make a nice table and I have to say I have been putting this off for ages and January is one of those months where it's really, really hard to get motivated and get out into the garden. And I wasn't going to ask anybody for help. And then I was just chatting to Karen and I was like, actually, I don't suppose you want to come over and help, do you? I was like, to be honest, I just wanted to have a bit of company while I was doing this job because it's always way more fun when you're having the chats and catching up. And I do think that that is something this year that I'm going to do more of, which will be asking for help from people or even if it's just to keep me company in the garden, I am definitely one of my goals. If you saw a previous video of Christmas, I was saying real world interactions with people, seeing my friends more and going to like hobbies and classes and things like that in real life. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping as well that by removing this unit it's gonna make it easier to clean because one thing that I struggle with in the greenhouse it's actually not too bad I have gotten better is the spiders if you have a greenhouse you're gonna have spiders and you know what it's not all bad because the spiders do eat other bugs and insects in the greenhouse so I try not to be too clean but sometimes I especially in the summer have romantic notions of sitting in my laptop and doing a bit of work in my greenhouse and then a giant spider will just potter along and I get the shivers but generally the spiders they keep themselves themselves I keep myself to myself the only time I have to do a bit of cleaning up is days like today when I you know what you'll see me pull apart that unit and what was behind it cobweb wise and I honestly thought there was going to be way more so it's not that bad one thing that 
which always used to happen with this unit was the top shelf would be full to the brim with like insect debris I don't even know if that's a word or a term or if that even makes any sense but there will be cobwebs any bugs that got caught in cobwebs and things like that my regular viewers would have seen me clean the greenhouse glass I think it was November I gave it a good proper scrub I think it took me like a day two days and I got to clean the glass inside and out um, but I didn't get to do the back panel because that unit that I have is a bit awkward it's been fine for the past kind of two years but I think it's just time for a change and I think this will be easier for me to manage. It gives me a nice growing table slash art corner as well. And it's also going to give me a tiny bit more floor space. And I'm hoping it's going to make the greenhouse just feel bigger. We're in shop. So, Karen has kindly. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Didn't Helped. get bitten by spiders. <laughs> oh my god, there was a lot of spiders in. There. Well, a lot of cobwebs. I had cleaned the greenhouse before in November, like the glass inside mm -hmm. them. You did a good job. Like couldn't that's do this. spotless. Yeah, touch wood. Speaking of wood. <laughs> now. <laughs> now. So myself and Karen filmed a seed chat winter chit chat video which will be on Karen's channel. It was supposed and to be a seed swap. I don't like, judge me because I look at this. Look at this now, is a seed library. And my little whimsical <laughs> you'll see little box, yeah. you'll see it in Karen's video. Um, I didn't realise I had basically my seeds in I feel two like boxes. I came out better from it. Yeah. No, but I, I rubbed some of your ones you as well. No, do you know what? I have this thing where I'm just like, oh, I don't want to grow that. And, oh, I want to grow that. And End up with a lot of seeds. Yeah. But do you know what? Our gardens will be lovely this year. Yeah. <laughs> I think Thank we you had so fun. much for helping me because the even thoughts of having, like, we got this done so much quicker than I would on my own because I'd be You wouldn't have been able to, not yeah. to lift kind of those. We lifted these out, we lifted the frame out and then tomorrow I think I'm going to, I'm going to go to Woody's now to get some brackets yeah. but my plan is to cut up the old shelves to make shelves. <laughs> it's <laughs> going to look brilliant. And do them on this so then I can have like a wall and it just gives me more space and then put wood across this so I'll have a seed sewing table and an art bin. So I will probably be like, Catherine, do you have any space for all of yeah, my seeds? We will. Like there will be space in here to store. Because there's the stuff we room. can like because you already sewed stuff, didn't you? You sewed um sweet peas sweet around peas. the window, yeah. And like that's when we were going through seeds there today. We're like, oh this is like you're gonna be able to sew that yeah. in February. So like we're I gonna be wait. like just like this it was actually can, really nice afternoon or morning. More space in here, I can Put the heater on and make it a bit warmer in yeah. here. And I, I have space to do if I want to do heat mats because I have the power outlet. Oh yes. I can do heat mats in here. I bought one last year from Amazon Lovely. and it's crap. Oh. It, I don't think it worked. I think I got a dodgy one. And good yeah, to know. Just, I, I prefer to get something better. I don't want to have grow lights because yeah. I said this weird thing. Like, do things grow normally with, with grow, grow lights? Do you know what I mean? I feel like we yeah. thrive on daylight. As it's like to my loomy light. Yeah. It's still fake. Because we were only saying that because I have the same loomy light and I was like, I feel like, yeah, it wakes you up, but, but it's still like daylight. fake. Yeah, like that's what is joyful. But no, do you know what? It was yeah. a really nice morning, being out in the fresh air, having the Yeah, chance. even though we're, we're cold. 
Oh, should we have our gilets? But I'm glad we got this done this week because mm. there is frost and they didn't say snow on the radio this morning, but they were like, the, there could be snow next week. When I say snow, it does sting because they were like, yeah. it's the there's five days or whatever and it can change in five days. Because we can't even get it right. Like no, one it day, right. if you try to say, oh yeah, it's just supposed to, like it's not going to rain mm. tomorrow and then it does. But, but no, we've got a good day for doing this and it's nice to get yeah. just the fresh air and, and to have the chat. company. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for feeding me. You're welcome. <laughs> it's a good mutual exchange. And you know what, we got to play with the cats as well who are just hilarious. <laughs> Poor Karen couldn't eat her lunch in peace with Bjorg. She's like, she's like what, is, what is that? What she's is that? She's just full of sugar and spices, isn't she? Oh, she's absolutely hilarious. Yeah. But no, I feel like your greenhouse is going to be unreal. Yeah, once I, I can clean year. the floor now as well, and I can, yeah. Yeah. It's so all good. head over to Karen's uh, YouTube channel, Lovely Girly Bits, but I'll pin a link. Actually, if my video goes up on Thursday, you're saying Sunday? Yeah. I'll put that across the screen yeah. so you can check it out on Sunday. It's that little reminder. Because, like, we just had chats. We did, seeds like, our little chili yeah. chats and. With seeds and stuff. With seeds and, and life and everything. And life for the new year. New new garden season is upon us. So anyway. I just, yeah, I was just looking around at Catherine's thing. Oh my god, look at this. Oh my god, like, look at her little mascara. Yeah. So cute. Hold on, let me just show you. Oh, why is that one in there? Like, look at that cute. Like, spring is coming. Spring has sprung in. Are you messing with your house? I'm fiddling. <laughs> I will see you in a minute because I'll be back cutting Can shells. Take my seed I shop. Well, yeah, I'm in seed you know what? Like someday I might have like a, a nursery shop. or a seed place shop thing. We talked about our dreams on that on Karen's video. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. Karen won't. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Karen. <laughs> If you've watched my past couple of videos, I feel like I am becoming the wood cutting queen. <laughs> it's good practice, I'll give you that. I think the reason why I was dreading this job is because putting up shelves, I think it's just so boring. <laughs> but I know the end results will be worth it and it will be pretty. I think one of the reasons why I hate putting up shelves is because I will get them wonky. But when it comes to the garden, I'm like, ah. I think it's okay. Nobody will mind if like one of my shelves is wonky. Although I did try my best. So I'm just using my mini circular saw to cut them in half. And I have my woodwork uh, legs out as well. Um, a couple of people were suggesting you can get these things. I think they might be called sewing rails or a sewing guide that you, I'm not a sewing, hear me say sewing. I have too many crafts in my head. A saw guide. Um, or saw rails and you clamp them onto the wood and you put your circular saw through it and it gives you a crisp perfect line I don't have one of those maybe it's something I need to invest in but if you are trying to get some nice straight cuts then that could be an option for you I have to say my circular saw the past couple of weeks has been the hardest working tool in my kit so there was just I'm actually shivering looking at this because I'm getting flashbacks because it was actually really cold I think it was minus one in the garden there's no frost but the temperature had dropped and I was out cutting wood and I was absolutely freezing I definitely feel like this could have totally been a nice mild March job So I'm just measuring and I'm putting the shelves into the greenhouse and I'm using just little L brackets that you can pick up in the DIY shop. Obviously I have to be conscious of the weight of pots and what I want to stick on 
and uh, it, obviously the greenhouse is a wooden frame so I can't put too heavy of a pot onto the shelf because I could risk you know the shelf just tearing out of the wood basically. I also don't want to add too many shelves straight away even though I cut I think about nine <laughs> shelves and I was going to do loads I actually ended up only using three for now and then I've stored the rest of them because I can do some shelves either side of the workbench so I kind of have I don't know a little nook feeling um, and it also depends on the plants as well I always have pelag oh god my poor pelagoniums you'll see me fixing up those little geraniums at the end of the video um, what I will say is they do thrive on my neglect in winter time I probably water them once a month when it comes to winter um, if the soil is wet I just leave them because it's cold it's like they kind of go dormant but they were looking really scraggy so I pulled off all of the old leaves and um, the soil was actually dry I gave them a tiny bit of water because we do have frost um, now the greenhouse does be a couple of degrees warmer than outside um, I haven't had frost in the greenhouse but the temperature would still be low and it would drop so um, I didn't want them to get because they don't like the frost your hardy geraniums that are in the soil those ones are totally fine they'll take a little light frost but the likes of pelagoniums they absolutely hate the frost and they will die I've learned that the hard way anyway back to shelves lots of measuring Lots of using my, whatchamacallit, my spirit level, my level, spirit level. I don't know why that sounds odd, my spirit level. To make sure that they're nice and straight as well. And I also like to eyeball it as well to see if it's straight. And then once my shelves are up, I started to plant up a couple of primroses and primulas just because I needed a bit of a spring fix. Also, the planks of wood that I use to put across the table are just temporary because um, I need to, again, same problem that I had in the kitchen video. I need to fit wood in my car and I can't fit it. So what I might actually do is, I might see if I can get wood for a home delivery and then at least it's easier for me to try and get the wood then so if you saw the kitchen video last week you'll know i'm looking to get a nice long piece of wood to do a pantry door yeah, it's like a longer door that we want to do in the kitchen instead of like three little ones we're gonna do one big one and in my greenhouse i was thinking that two or three depending on how like deep they are but i think scaffold boards two or three of them would look nice going across this or just outdoor wood um going across but i just need to get it i need to get like eight foot wide lengths um i think eight foot or maybe ten foot but yeah i need eight or ten foot lengths of wood so i think i might see if i can get home delivery
You can see me. I need to raise you up. That's better. I am just back from... That's rude of me, my headphones in. I'm just back from the telly slot. I was on, today is the 16th of the 1st. Ireland AM have a YouTube channel because some people are like, oh, where can we watch it? If you're in Ireland, you can obviously watch it on the player. And it was the 16th of the 1st, Tuesday. And I was on at 9.45. I did a tease at nine. Then I think I was on around about 9.45. I was the last guest on. And I was talking about cheating and your girl, you know I was terrified I was going to say shitting. <laughs> um, bit of sweet peas and milk cartons. So I'm just unpacking. And where I was talking about sweet peas, chitting potatoes, wild birds. But as always, I just have like my notes. Where's my notes? My notes just be like a thousand words. It's like an essay. Oh, sorry about the light. Oh, that's a lovely bit of light. It's like God is behind me. Um, nah. I never get to say all of my points. So I always put them as a little slide on Instagram uh, because I'd hate for me to miss a point that is valuable knowledge. So I'm just unpacking and shout out to, if you want to do, milk cartons, grow things in milk cartons, cheat your potatoes and something like this and you're like I don't drink all that milk go to the deli counters or the coffee shops you'll get the these in the deli counter so any of the restaurant places if you ask nicely they'll give you these so I got this one in like the deli counter in Spar and I got milk cartons as well because I only kind of have milk in my tea so I was able to get those the other day because I was like, oh no, where am I going to get like milk cartons at such short notice? Um, so I'm just unpacking, but I was clever because these primroses and primulas, I want to put them up here because the poor hardy, or not hardy geraniums, the poor pelagonians have seen better days, but they'll be grand in summertime. So yes unpack with me and then I'll show you how the greenhouse is looking it's frosty it was fr there was frost last night it's three degrees now but it's sunny so a lot of the frost is kind of melting away but thankfully everything in here is frost free it's cold but it's frost free so that's good while I am unpacking my bits, I wanted to have the chats because my regular viewers will know that I struggle when it comes to public speaking, especially live television. And I've done a couple of slots last year, maybe because I had a bit of a break. I was sick over Christmas, so I missed my, um, I had like a craft segment that unfortunately I couldn't do. So it's been a couple of weeks since I did a slot on the television, but anxiety was 10 out of 10. It was peak, especially the day before. I actually didn't do any filming the day before, but I did um, take some time to cut up the milk cartons, um, prep the seed trays. I think when I get anxious, my inner perfectionist comes out and it's that balance and battle between wanting to have something that looks visually nice and pretty and to a standard. And then you have anxiety creeps in where perfectionism rears its ugly head so I feel like that I do be mindful of that when I do get into a bit of an anxious spiral so I feel like for anyone else who also struggles with the public speaking and girl at this stage just anxiety in general I find lately I'm like what's the phrase two steps forward one step backward then you might have a day and you're five steps ahead and then you just slip back. Um, so I think what I'm trying to say is it's not linear. It's not this like upward slope where you, it's fine. I think you're just gonna have days where it just gets you. So if you did see my TV segment and I looked calm or whatever, just know that there was an awful lot. I did not sleep the night before. I was even anxious on the drive over to the place, to the studio, and I just had a million anxious thoughts in my head. 
but I was chatting to another guest who was on um, and we were chatting out the back and I just asked her like after all these years does she still get nervous and she says yes absolutely and that she loves the feeling of when you're driving home (laughs) and you have that feeling of relief and there does be that feeling of relief. I forgot my jacket. Um, I bought something off the internet after seeing it on a video. It's a C, well, I think it's used to organize photos or something, but I saw someone had used it to organize their seeds. I feel like Karen needs this when you see her video on Sunday. You'll see why, but look. Perfect size. To stick seeds in them. Oh. And photos maybe. Little garden photos. Seeds. And you get these little stickers as well. But you know me, I could use the cricket machine and I could like stick a few things on. So yeah. <laughs> I bought a random seed box purely because I seen it on the internet. But I think it's gonna serve me well because I do have packets of seeds in random places. I always buy the same seeds as well. So anything for an easy life. One thing that actually helped with when I was feeling anxious for the TV segment was actually just being outside for the past couple of days. And I know it's freezing and it's the last thing you wanna do, but just getting that bit of fresh air, like that outdoor feeling, Little small things like the birds singing, leaving out some wild bird food and pottering away in the greenhouse was definitely good for my soul. Um, I feel like I'm a bit garden heavy in this, you know, this week, especially on Instagram and on YouTube. I do have some house projects, but I just needed to get outside. So if you're the same, you don't have to start sowing seeds or anything, doing little jobs, little clean up jobs inside. Maybe you need to clean some pots or you want to organize your seeds. But yeah, I found it was a tonic for the soul. Okay, before I sign off, here's a quick look around. I haven't had a chance to set up my art easel, but I'm kind of hoping it will possibly go here. There's just some osteosperinum that I'm keeping out of the frost, or I might have it in this corner here. I have my little heater for the weather to warm up a little, and I'm gonna spray this wall with algon to get rid of the algae, but I was thinking a something climber on this wall would be really nice or if I did the brick effect on it because let's face it it's not the prettiest but like there is ivy over there but there's just for some reason none here a shady I know there's a there's a, even though the sun comes in this way I know in summertime the sun goes that way so this could be relatively shady its feet would be in the shade so there is a clematis that likes shade. So yeah, anyway, just thinking as I'm going along. So I need to raise these two units up, but I have wood left over from the unit that I took down and I've kept the wood. So I just need to cut it and stick some legs on. It's fine for now. The ground is like relatively dry. I also need to clean the floor. <laughs> as you, like the brick is perfect where it was covered. And you can obviously see the messy area here, but I'm gonna have to wait for a day where it's a bit warmer so that it dries out quicker and I need to get a brush and just scrub it and it will come up nice and clean again. Then over here, so yeah, I did the shelves, loving all of the pots. Like I could possibly get 
another row but the thing is plants obviously have different heights so I'm restricted in what I can kind of put um, and then I'm thinking as well to add see here I don't think I'll put shelves in but I'm thinking of possibly for maybe March time just getting a freestanding shelf that I can collapse and store away in summer but something for the seed trays because see all them seeds I'm gonna sow them then this side again needs to do a bit of cleaning I just have buckets and seed <laughs> so this is still kind of messy I have some pelagoniums and dahlias again out of the way of the winter frost but yeah I feel like after doing this I just have a bit more space it's amazing what just having the space above you free I feel like this is a good workbench and it was so much easier when I was prepping for the telly that I had somewhere that I wasn't bending over like out in the garden and sometimes I'd be leaning over the flower beds trying to plant things so yeah I am happy with this is how with how this is looking for now my art easel is still in the box but it's too cold to paint and well you could put your jacket on but I don't think you would enjoy doing your bit of art doing your bit of paint also I'm not sure how your paints might fare up in the cold weather in your greenhouse would it make them go tacky I'm not sure so apologies for not getting my art easel so but yeah I need to find a little home for it anyway I'm rambling now so Karen's video will be up this Sunday coming the uh, today's the 16th oh is it 20 something already January is fine but yes it is a chatty video where we did a little seed swap and we're just having the general chats if you saw any of our chit chat videos from last year it's just two of us talking shy basically so yeah set a little reminder to watch that lovely early bit is her youtube channel and instagram as well her garden instagram is lovely gardeny bits she probably has it linked anyway on her channel i'm off in to heat up <laughs> but if you did any first of all don't feel any pressure to do any winter garden jobs. A lot of people watching are like very deep in snow. And I think this time of year, when you see people sewing things, like I posted about sewing sweet peas, but never feel like you have to do it. I think like social media, like when you're exhausted, um, you're like, oh God, and you see someone sowing seeds and you're like, I don't have the energy for that. Honor that. I never want you to feel like you should be doing something. If you do, click off the video, take a break from the channel. I don't mind that at all. Yeah, I want to motivate you, but I never want you to feel bad for not doing something in the garden, if that makes any sense. Don't feel like you have to put your seeds in a pretty organizer. <laughs> no, <laughs> you do you. Um, but anyway, on that note, if you did do any little bits in the garden, even if it was just a potter, hope you got joy from it we'll have the chats as usual in the comments section if you're new hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed it thumbs up cheeky thumbs up and i'll see you all in next week's video bye